of you is 330 pounds? About two of me. And that's how heavy the cannonballs are. And they can fly in two miles. Imagine one of those landing on your foot. Oh. Hey. Hi, Mum. Hi. Hey, hey. Found him yet? Very funny. So, how are you? Psoriasis is back on my elbows. Works a bit shit, but I'm trying to make the best of it like everyone else. Well, almost everyone else. I spoke to Uusi from work. Mm. I wonder what she had to say. She know my place. Huh. Stop baking cakes. People do like cake. Mm. John, I'm, I need to ask you to do something. No. You don't know what it is I'm going to say. Well, whatever it is, no. I need you to let your flat go and move back in with us. Are you serious? Yes. I feel like I'm being cuckolded by a ghost. John, I just... I really need to do this. I'm sorry. He's colossal, isn't it, Dad? It is. The thing about Mon's Meg is... It soon became obsolete because it was so heavy, they couldn't move it anywhere. So it wasn't so much a colossal gun in the end as a colossal waste of time. He was talking to you, but really he was saying that to Mum. <laughs> hey, boys. Any time for the one o'clock gun? Should we go? Yeah. Well, they can't sort of... <laughs> Steve can't help himself. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what he is. And we have the same thing in Philomena. There'd be, mm. you know, there'd be good jokes and the most sort of tragic... Bits. <laughs> it's quite, uh, the, the way they write is so light. I, I just think that's brilliant. It's such an economy, mm. and it's all just just yes, light. Nev nothing's ever heavily landed. Steve and Jeff, they're they're very very good. Brilliant. They're very fresh. Mm. They're not like ordinary screenwriters. They somehow do it differently, and it's very appealing. close to the audience. Yeah, and appealing. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's easy, and mm. and yet it's. They're right. They're right. Yeah. So, so complex, and yet it gives you. You think it's quite simple and light, mm. but it's it's very economical. You know, he comes with the with the territory. Really. <laughs> oh, you're going to do a film written by Steve? Oh, he'll be in it. <laughs> there wasn't a sort of argument about it. That's good. And then I remember, for some reason, Peter Capaldi saying, "Oh, I think he's playing Richard." And I kept saying, well, that would be a I sort of Danny Kaye film. I heard, I heard that too. <laughs> and wondered if that's the film we should be making. Yeah, I didn't. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. And he kept saying, I want to play, I, I like the idea of playing somebody, oh. as it were, quite discreet and quite low-key. He was great. Mm. He was brilliant in it. I loved working with him. Just, um, there were so many moments like that. But yeah, it's, that was kind of... Yeah, yeah, he's just funny and brilliant, but also, again lightness to touch it. He is very, very good, and he can do everything, it seems. Mm. He's like a poly yes. We, If there's a common denominator to what we do, it's consistent with Philomena, and it is with this film, it's that uh, we write dramas which are about something, and you, we, we, we use comedy as a way to sugar the pill of what might ostensibly look like inaccessible topics. So we, we try to, we're populists, Jeff and I, we're from quite ordinary backgrounds. We want our films to have as broad appeal as possible, not so much for commercial reasons, of course that's important because everyone needs to get paid, uh, but because we want to, we don't want to be elitist. We want to uh, reach out to as many people as possible and intelligently uh, present a, a thought-provoking story with humour so that it's fun and not boring. It's a device, it's not an end in itself, but comedy's really, really great because it wins people over, it wins you. When you're laughing, then you sort of half won an argument with someone if you make them laugh, because laughing is kind of agreeing with you. So it's a great way of winning the audience. And uh, of course there is uh, comedy in, in, uh, in life and, f and we, uh, comedy in the strangest uh, circumstances, even, even in bleak situations, people find comedy and they seek out comedy. And uh, it's uh, very useful uh, to us because it enables us to, um, to, to you know, like I say, uh, sort of seduce people into listening to our story. And um, in fact, once you become so used to being able to sort of sprinkle this, this uh, find, finding the comedy um, and making the story um, you know, enjoyable, uh, sometimes the problem is when to, to know when not to do the joke and to let something be 
uh, you know, sincere and authentic, and, and just let it let it uh, let it be what it is, and not not be uh, worried. Sometimes you have to commit to the sincerity or the gravitas of a situation, and not uh, use the parachute of a joke. 500年以上行方不明だった国王リチャード三世の遺骨を見つけたのは I know I can find him. さえない日々を送る一人の主婦だった I'm sure everyone knew you were always the rightful king Richard III under a cup <laughs> I will fight you all the way on this 究極の推し活がイギリス王室の歴史を覆すロストキング500年越しの運命